Hey, it's John Jones, and I'm at home, and I'm just doing an antenna conversion. I had a radio, um, I made a video on a few days ago, that had no transmit and no receive. And, well, I'll show you why. I think maybe that might have something to do with it. Uh, you know, because that looks nice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, looks like maybe this radio has no hope left for it. In the front, if you turn it around, you actually can see either either what happened was that was corroded and made something blow up in the in in the front, or something in the front up here on the top of the board. It exploded and caused all that corrosion, but you can see right there. Let's see if I can get some light on that. But you can see right there. You see that white shit? And it's right there on the transistor. That's probably a little better lighting, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's it is pretty gross. You'll have to just take my word for it. It's pretty gross down in there. Um, and you have the transistor here, you can see it right there, that's just completely coated in goo. That could be the, um, thermal paste they use to keep it from, uh, overheating, because this is the heat sink right here. Either way, I don't know, I'm not a super competent radio tech, but, um, the LCD wasn't working, There's no transmit, no receive... This is a TRC-216. Uh, it's got all the bells and whistles, too, you know. Either way. So, I said, screw it. I'm just going to make an antenna conversion because this radio actually works. It's an older model, a uh, more basic model, but, um, hey, it works. But the problem with it was the uh, antenna didn't have a top on it. It's missing a top portion of the antenna. Which most normal people will think, well, what's the fucking big deal about that? Just take the antenna. Just fucking, who cares? Talk on it. Well, sure, that's fine for a receive. I mean, you can have an antenna 50 miles long and get, you know, and get received, but when you're trying to transmit, you want to make sure that this is the right electrical length. And if it's not, you'll get high SWR, which is, you know, going to blow up your radio. It'll burn your transistors out. And I'm going to do a um, mod to this. Just a simple mod, just to boost modulation. So you'll be able to talk further on it and get more wattage out. Um, either way. So I open this up over here. And... Uh, as you can see, the bracket, the way it mounts is is uh, right here. The antenna I pulled out is right there. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> right here. So it slipped right in there, screwed in. Took a took a lot of time getting that out of there. So I come over here, and I'm like, oh shit. Well, damn, that antenna. This actually goes to the side. Oh shit. Luckily, I'm a fucking hoarder, and I have one just like it that uh, screws in from the side. And so all we have to do up here at the top is just slide this down in here. Really gently, like. And put it right there. I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, take some sandpaper and sand that down a little bit and make sure that it's got a really good connection and then I'm going to uh, probably go ahead and update the the uh, video that I made on it I might I don't know I might just put it on this you know what let's just do it now I'll edit this on YouTube later so it might be a little bit long right now if you see it before I edit it sorry let me just hurry up and, and just uh, do this right quick so let me just scrape it a bit hold on and sand it off. I'm going to go ahead and attach it now. Seems good to me. 
Now all we need to do is tighten it up. Looks good. Tighten it up fairly tightly. Don't uh, don't let this thing don't let that thing uh, slip around any. That seems good. Okay, let's pop the uh, front and back of this back on. So this is a little bit uh, yeah, interesting way to put it together. <clears throat> a lot of them just the back pops off like that. Not the case with this one. This one uh, is a little bit going to be a little bit harder to put together. So let me just go ahead and do that off camera, and then I'll come back. So here we are. So here we are putting the knobs back on again for the volume and squelch. Let me just go ahead and turn this off really quick so I can set the knob right. The antenna is fully extended. And uh, we are definitely getting reception. Make sure to get those on right. All right, see in the, we're good. Squilch is working. Channel light's working. Channel five, I'm pretty sure that's, yep, that's a five. Um, fully extended antenna. Transmit. We're golden. And that is how you do an antenna conversion. Maybe I'll show you how to <clears throat> change the modulation on these later. After I tinker around a little more with them. I'm still learning a lot about it myself. But uh, once I get everything down pat, we're definitely going to revisit the topic. I'll show you how to get more power out of these radios. Talk further. And I do have a... a OC test bench uh, or a test center and I'll make sure that the modulation is not um, too distorted that's the one thing you don't want to do you don't want to crank that all the way up when you're trying to change your modulation if you go too far with it you'll sound like shit I've heard a million people sound like shit with modulation I've actually made a video on that before anyways um, that's how you do it I'm Johnny Jones here at home and I'm out